Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina and I'm a fashion reseller on the Poshmark app. You can find me on Instagram at little.black.hanger. You can also find me on Poshmark at littleblackhanger without the vowels. Today we are doing a good old fashioned thrift haul. I promise this haul to you guys. As you guys know from my last video, I went to my first ever Goodwill outlet or the bins. Um, in Savannah, Georgia, and it was so good. Like, I had a great first time experience. Like, everyone was so nice. Nobody was pushing or shoving. No one was, like, rude. Actually, like, the bins was my, like, best experience thrifting ever. So, I got really lucky. I know that. So, um, I have a lot of stuff to get through. Let's just get into it. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, the Goodwill Outlets or the bins is just this big room where they have these huge blue bins of clothing and shoes and handbags and you just gotta dig through all of it. It's not nice and neat like the regular Goodwill, it's not hung on hangers, everything is just in these big blue bins. I'll insert a picture here. Um, and basically, you sort through everything, you pick out what you want. Um, then when you get to the register, you put it in this big bin, they weigh it, and you pay by the pound. Mine was $1.39 a pound, so that gives you a little idea of how the bins works. I know a couple of you had asked me on my last video what exactly the bins are, and that's what it is. So, um, if you see something that you like, let me know down below. Most of this stuff is already listed, but a lot of it isn't. So if you want it, just let me know down below and tell me your closet name and I will tag you in the listing. So let's start off with some shoes. First off is this pair of Lucky Brand Basil ankle boots. They, um, have the double zipper. They're just really cute. I think these are cute for summer and fall. Um, but they're basically brand new. Don't look like they've hardly been worn. They are a size eight and a half if you're interested. Um, next shoe is this pair of like platform, wooden platforms. They are by Kato. They've got this cool like laser cut detail. Um, they are a size 11 and they are brand new. They've never been worn. My first find at the men's was actually this pair of Ugg boots. Um, they're the tall version. They're a size 9 wide. Um, they're in really good condition. It looks like they were hardly worn. Like the soles don't look very worn at all. Um, they do have a little spot on them somewhere. Yeah, right there. Um, but it's nothing major. Like I said, basically brand new. Next piece is this vintage Levi's denim jacket. It pained me to post this. Like, you guys know how bad I want to keep this. I know you know. Like, I, I, oh, oh I want to keep it so bad. But it is a, I would say a medium, but it is definitely a men's medium. So it's a little oversized fit. Perfect condition. No flaws. Love it. Next piece is this pair of shoes, Lucky Brand Wedges. Um, they are a size 9, minimal wear. I just really like this like pattern on the back. So cute. Um, they did have like a little stain on them, but I did a little stain treatment and it pretty much came out. I think I'm going to do another one just to see how much I can get out, but that's those. If you like them next piece is this dress and it's just one four three story by lineup I'm not really sure what um, brand that is or if it's a significant brand I think it's just like a boutique brand but it's this high neck um, halter kind of dress but I really liked it because of these little ruffles that's what the pattern looks like and it is a size um, I don't see a size tag. Ah! I'd say it's either a medium or a large. Next piece, I got a couple of these. I usually don't pick up these types of shirts, but ever since the new feature on Poshmark, I am starting to look at like men's clothing a little bit. Um, but this is just a seersucker Tommy Hilfiger um, button up. This could also be worn like for a woman, I would wear this. I love these like oversized button ups um, and that seersucker. Oh, I'm just a sucker for seersucker. Love it. Um, this is a size men's medium. So if anyone's interested in that. Other button up is just this uh, Polo Ralph Lauren or Ralph Lauren 
um, little button up. It is long sleeve. I thought this would be so cute on like worn oversized on a girl. I just love the color of it. This pink and green combo is just so cute. It's got the little horse right there. It is also a size medium. Next piece is this pair of like moto style skinnies. Um, these are by Torrid and they are a size 16 regular. So that's them. They have some stretch to them. Next piece is this gray for Saks Fifth Avenue um, pair. I don't even know if you can see that. Um, I wasn't really sure about this brand, but it is Saks Fifth Avenue, so obviously it's going to be a little more high end, but it's just this pair of camo skinnies. I thought they were really cute. Um, they're the super skinny, and the size is a 28. Next piece is just these Jennifer Lopez skinny jeans, but I picked them up because they are pretty, pretty high waisted, um, and they're black skinnies. They're super comfortable feeling, got some stretch to them. They're a size eight. Um, nothing crazy, but I just thought a good pair of black skinny jeans is definitely, everyone's in the market for that, right? Um, and they are high rise, so. Like I said, size eight if you are interested. I had to resituate my life. I have so much stuff to show you guys. Um, all right, so next up is just this little eyelet crop top. It's by LA Hearts, which is sold at PacSun. Um, and this is a size medium. Just super cute little summery crop. This piece is this red pea coat. I love this. It's by Old Navy. It's a size extra, extra large. Uh, but it is new with tags somewhere. <laughs> it's new with tags. It's just this soft, like, hoodie kind of material. Like, it's not thick like a regular pea coat. And I just love it. I love it. It's going to be so good for fall. By the way, I am picking up, I'm starting to pick up fall items, if you couldn't already tell. Um, I love fall. And I'm really excited for fall. Um, but I think, like, it's a good time to start getting fall stuff. In. Next up is one of my favorite pieces as well. It's just this like thicker material windbreaker, brand new condition. Um, it's this arm like vintage or retro um, army windbreaker. I just thought this was so cool. Like look at the back. Look at that. Amazing. This is a size um, large, and I think it's a women's. It might be a men's. Next piece is this vintage 100% um, silk, 100% silk, what? 100% <laughs> silk um, feather pattern button up. This is the softest shirt I have ever felt in my entire life. It's amazing. Um, this could be worn women's or men's, whatever you so desire, uh, but it is a size medium. And like I said, softest, most wonderful material. Like I just want to be wrapped up in this material for my entire life. Yes, yes. Okay, next piece is this BDG, which is sold at Urban Outfitters cardigan. It's a size small. It's just this oversized cardigan. You know, it hangs, it's got the pockets. It's real nice and cozy. Would be so good in the fall with some boots love next up is this guns and roses t-shirt it is a men's fit um i think that says extra large looks like an extra large just this graphic tee next is this roxy pullover sweatshirt this is like brand new condition doesn't look like it's even been washed or worn it is so soft um and i loved it because it says at the beach and in the mountains so like, it just spoke to me. Like, that is me. Yes? Oh, so cute for fall. This is what the back looks like. It's got the little Roxy symbol. And it is a size large. Next up is this pair of button fly um, distressed high-waisted shorts. They are by Forever 21. Usually, you guys know I don't pick up Forever 21. But this style was just too cute to pass up. High-waisted, yes. Everything, yes. Um, I didn't tell you what size they are. Uh, they are size 27. Next up is this vintage vest. I don't usually pick up vests, but I just thought this was like literal bohemian dreams. Look at the embroidery. 
oh, it just spoke to me. It's denim, it's embroidered, it's boho. I love it. It's a size 1X. I, yeah, I mean, you could wear it as an, a size 1X or you could wear it oversized. I thought this would be really pretty over like a floral maxi or like just, it's just so boho. I just love it. Uh, next piece is this um, Joe B by Joe Ben Bassett. Sorry, I couldn't remember. Um, that's what the tag looks like. It's a size small. It is new with tags. This is a brand that they sell at Kohl's. It was originally $38, but because it was new with tags, that's why I picked it up. It's just this really cute, like, jersey knit, stretchy, uh, marled, uh, pencil skirt. Couldn't think of the word. Next up is this pair of vintage Lauren Ralph Lauren shorts. This is what the vintage tag looks like. That's what the back looks like. It's seersucker. I mean, can I, do I even have to explain why I picked these up? Uh, I thought these would be really cute, like rolled. I just think they're cute. They're cute. Um, they're a size, oh, I forgot to tell you the size of this skirt. Did I? I don't remember. Skirt is a size small. These shorts are a size two. So you can wear them like Bermuda style, longer style, but I thought they'd be really cute um, rolled up or you could even cut them off if you wanted to. I'll leave that up to you. Next up is this really pretty um, dress by Jealous Tomato. This brand is sold at Nordstrom Rack. Um, it is a size small. That's what the tag looks like. It's just this really cute bohemian blush pink cutout like choker style dress. I was tempted to keep this as well, but the coloring is just not good for my skin tone. Uh, but that is up. It's like a faux suede material too. I just love it. Such a good transition dress, like from spring, summer to fall. Next piece is this beautiful beaded bohemian tribal print bag. It is stunning. It's got this gold chain. You could just keep it as a clutch, put the chain inside the bag. Brand new, never been used. Oh, I'm trying to open it for you guys. Still got the bubble wrap in it. Oh, it's just stunning. All the beads are, look at that. Look at those beads. Oh, then this tassel, I just love it. It's already up in my closet if you guys are interested. Yeah, yeah. Next piece is this Madewell sweater. I think everything that I'm gonna show you from now on is listed, definitely. Um, so next up is just this Madewell sweater. This is what the tag looks like. It's a size small. Just this little popover sweater. Super cute. It's not super thick, so it would be good for like the end of summer, beginning of fall. It's high-low. Just thought it was a good basic. Next up is this uh, Prana hooded flannel shirt. And the reason I liked this is because not only is it hooded, but it's got this cool like lace eyelet detail on the back and I just thought that was so pretty. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is what the Prana label looks like. Um, and it is a size small. Prana is like a yoga brand. Um, so yeah, it does pretty well on Poshmark from what I've seen. And I just thought this color was perfect for fall. Next piece is this pair of Escapada. That's what the tag looks like. Size large, um, like little swim popover shorts. Um, they're called the Marsh Short. I just thought they were really cute and they would be cute over like a bathing suit. Um, did I say they're a size large? Probably. Next piece is this New Without Tags Blue by Rod Beatty. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see this tag. Maybe. Blue by Rod Beatty. Um, swimsuit, one piece swimsuit. I guess it could be considered like a monokini. It's still got the plastic on this metal part right here. It's got a little scoop back and the high legs. Um, it is a size six, I believe. Yes, it is a size six. Thought that was really pretty. Next up is this moto style, like career jacket. Um, it is Catherine Molandrino, um, runway style, and it is a size small. That's what that looks like. Um, and I just thought this was really, really cute. Really cute career rocker chick style. I don't know, it spoke to me, so here it is. Um, it's like brand new condition, doesn't really look like it's ever been worn, so size small if you're interested. Next up is this Altered State dress. 
it's kind of like a one shoulder dress but it's got like this little tie too so it's technically two shoulders with a one shoulder does that make sense I don't know I'm rambling um, but this is what the altered state um, tag looks like they sell this on um, sites like revolve so those really trendy pretty expensive websites um, is where altered state is sold it's a size large I just thought it was so cute it's got this little ruffle at the bottom it cinches in at the waist and I don't know if you can see this fabric but it's just so pretty like this color is just beautiful next up is this Columbia zip up perfect condition literally doesn't look like it's been worn at all it is a size men's medium I usually don't pick up Columbia but the fleeces do pretty well for me especially obviously during the fall time and the end of summer so I just picked this up because it the condition is just amazing and I love this color um, so if you're interested men's medium it's unisex so um, I have a couple of those that I actually wear um, so that could be a women's as well next up is this North Face jacket love this high school me is screaming uh, it's a size small it's the Denali um, jacket just the classic Denali I haven't seen this colorway though where it's just like a light gray usually it's like white and gray I thought this colorway was so pretty um, it's in great condition another really good fleece zip up for fall and next piece I think this is like the second to last piece we might be done we're ending oh no we're not I have another bag <laughs> Next piece is this Eloquy. This is my first time ever finding this brand. It's a plus size brand. Um, this is what the tag looks like. It's new with tags. I just picked it up because it's like this windbreaker material and it's very like athleisure, but it's kind of like a skater dress style. I just thought it was so pretty. I'll have to insert a picture so you guys can see it a little bit better, but it's got this circle zipper that I thought was amazing and definitely on trend. Um, it is a size 20 if anyone is interested. Next piece is just this basic like three quarter sleeve top. Um, it's marled and navy blue, um, but it is H by Halston and that's another Nordstrom Rack brand. It is a size extra, extra small, um, but it is like an oversized fit and this is literally brand new. Yeah, no one's ever worn this. Next piece is this vintage Brighton belt. I thought the buckle on this was just stunning. I love the detail. Um, it's leather, I'm assuming. It doesn't say that it's real leather, but it's Brighton, so I'm assuming it is. That's what the tag looks like. Um, it is a size medium. Next up is another Torrid piece. It's this popover sweater. Um, this is what the fabric looks like up close. Um, and this, the reason I got this is because look at the back. Look at that detail. I love that. That is so cool. Um, and it is a size 1, which I'm assuming is a 1X in Torrid. I'm not really, like, versed, well-versed on Torrid, so I'm going to have to do some research. If anyone knows, let me know down below. I would love to educate myself on some plus size things, but I'm assuming this is a 1X. Next up is this Forever 21. It's a size medium. It's this like cardigan, boho cardigan. I think I'm probably keeping this for myself. Um, not sure yet, but <laughs> if anyone is interested, it is a size medium, but I just thought this was really pretty and perfect for fall. It is a little thicker and we go up north um, a lot of times during the fall and winter, so I thought that would be perfect. Um, but if you want it, let me know. Next up is just this gray, plain gray Nike hoodie. I am, or hoodie, it doesn't have a hood. Um, it's just this crew neck sweatshirt, but I am going to crop it. These sell a lot better cropped. Um, it is a size medium. Just a good, like, basic piece to have in your closet. I actually might not crop it. I might just leave it and let somebody, like, leave it up to interpretation if you want to crop it or not. I know not everybody likes things cropped. I understand that. <laughs> Next up is this pair of BDG um, Distressed Cutoffs. They're the Super High Rise Cheeky, size 26. Next up is this cardigan. It's like this color block cardigan. Thought was really cute. Um, it is by Sparkle and Fade, which is sold at Anthropology, um, and it is a size small. That's what the tag looks like. 
Um, just got the, you know, it's like that oversized knit sweater. Got the pockets. Does it have pockets? Yes. Got the pockets and I just thought it was really cute. Step is this bohemian, um, like kimono. I love kimonos. This smells like soap. Um, anyways, it's got this like cool little fringe detail on the bottom and it is by the brand New Directions. I'm not really sure about that brand. I just got this for the style. I thought it was a really cute little popover kimono. Next piece is this really cool um, like braided chain dress. It's just like a little halter high neck dress. Really pretty. Um, it's by the brand MSK. I did look this brand up, but I can't remember where it's sold. I'll pop it on the screen um, and let you guys know. But that's what the tag looks like, and it is a size small. I really like the color of this. Last piece is this Adidas shirt, t-shirt. Um, this is what the graphic looks like. Adidas always does really well. Um, it is a size large. I may crop this. I may not. I'm not sure. I think it will sell better cropped, to be honest. Um, but yeah, haven't decided yet. Another thing I did get was two pairs of Lululemon leggings. They were black, but they're already sold. So that's why one of them's right there. I haven't packed it yet, but that's why I didn't show you. Um, but I think that's it for the bins, um, for Poshmark. For myself, I got some things because like, you know, I can't go into a thrift store and not buy things for myself. It's just, it's a problem. It's an addiction. I know. Um, so the first thing is this um, Atlanta Falcons shirt. Um, it's just by Nike, but somebody had bleached the sleeves, like gotten little bleach spots, or maybe they tried to bleach the shirt. I'm not sure, but I just thought it was cool. Like, I don't know. I liked it. Cute. Next is this Harley Davidson t-shirt, and I know I could sell it, but I've really been looking for one for myself, so this one has... Uh, it's from Savannah actually so I just thought that was perfect to like keep for myself I love it so I actually wore it yesterday to the flea market next up is this um, saliva band tee they're like an early 2000s band my sister has informed me didn't even know what the brand was I just like really soft broken in distressed with bleach spots band tees and it's so comfortable so Next is this scarf. It's a silk scarf um, and it just has the Chanel logo all over it. I highly, highly doubt that this is real. Highly doubt. But it could be. You never know. But I just, like, I had to have it, of course. This piece is just this loft sweater. Um, it's got the little, like, tie up the front. I am in love with these types of sweaters, this open knit sweater because I do live in Florida and it gets a little chilly sometimes and I just like to pop this over. It's, oh, I just love these sweaters. I can't explain to you how much I love these sweaters. Next is this Columbia shirt. It's just one of those like um, keep cool shirts. Um, I really liked this dusty blue color and this is for Joe, obviously. Um, I pick those up whenever I see them for him because I'm a good wifey. Um, <laughs> next is this t-shirt. It says Route 66, um, one mother of a road. And this graphic is just amazing. Can you tell I'm obsessed with like graphic t-shirts, especially like biker ones? I'm obsessed. Uh, I also got this Philadelphia shirt. Um, I have one, um, with the city of New York on it, uh, that I love. And Joe is from Philadelphia, so I love this I just had to get it and the last no I got a pair of shoes too um last clothing piece is this lavender blazer you guys know I'm in love obsessed with blazers love them and this is the Pantone color of the year it's I always like to pick up these lightweight blazers because I do live in Florida so anytime I find a good lightweight like linen almost feel blazers I always pick them up this is amazing I did a little Instagram pic to my own horn. Hey, got that for myself. Um, and the last piece for me is a pair of boots. Um, I love combat boots, fun fact, and I don't have any brown ones. And I just thought these were the most amazing things. They have like 
Sherpa fur on the inside and I love them. They're in really good condition. They're um, the brand Klondike, which is a good brand, but it doesn't really sell well. So that's all the more excuse for me to keep these. They're so comfortable and I love them. We also did go thrifting. I might as well show you now. Um, we went thrifting um, and to the flea market like over the weekend. So Saturday we went to a couple little thrift stores and then yesterday we went to the flea market. So I did pick up a couple things. I think only four things and I'll go ahead and show you those now. Um, first I got this dress. It's a vintage dress and just look. I don't even know if like the camera is doing it justice. Like look how beautiful this is. The detailing on it is just stunning. And it's got this little belt and it's a maxi dress. And I'm just obsessed. I may keep this, I may not. I'm gonna try it on, see how it looks on me. Next piece is this vintage high-waisted denim skirt by Lee Jeans. And I mean, this is just everything. It is everything. It doesn't have a size in it. Oh no. I'm gonna have to measure the waist. I think it's probably like a 26 fit. I'm a true 26, so, and it looks like it's gonna fit me. So I would say this is a 26, but I will get this measured and listed. All right, last piece I got at that thrift store was, is this wooden handle macrame bag. Um, it just, you know, looks like that. It's pretty small, but I, it's just the cutest little handle bag and I could not leave it. It's in perfect condition. It's stunning, beautiful. All right, and last piece, I promise. We went to the flea market yesterday and we were just walking around and I saw these boots from afar. Your eyes do not deceive you. They are Harley Davidson, in fact, and they are combat boots and they are in really amazing freaking condition. I mean, I do need to like get all this gunk out of the bottom, but they really look like they've hardly been worn and look how beautiful they are. I really, 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 really want to keep these. They're a size eight and a half, which is my size, but I just, I don't know. I'll sell them. I'll sell them, but it will be with a heavy heart. <laughs> it will be with a heavy heart. I just, these are stunning, stunning. Everything, everything. Yes. Alrighty, so that is it for my giant haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure and give it a thumbs up on your way out. Also be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Become a part of our little family here. We would love to have you. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye. Is this the hat? You like my hat? <laughs> I found a Dolly Parton thermos. <laughs> oh my I don't God. need it, but I'm getting it. <laughs> How do you feel, Tiger? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. <laughs> it was a beautiful head on Oh, you. I found this. It's a dollar. Oh. Now it's 50 cents. Okay. <laughs> now it's 50 cents.